Hey, what's up you guys? Sharpness Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Black Panther Wakanda Forever movie, Atuma build a figure waves Nakia in her water suit, right? It's her water suit? I don't know, I haven't seen the movie yet, but this looks pretty cool and I really do like the character and I can't wait to see it. So on one side you can see the Atuma build a figure with all the other figures from the wave and on the other side you get this nice concept art of Nakia and then on the back you get some 3D renders of product shots along with the build a figure piece and the accessories and then on the top we do not have a spot varnish logo but we get a black panther logo up there not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open but first try and get your marvel legends you can do so it big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below <laughs> And here's Nakia out of the packaging and this figure looks really sweet man there's a lot of details here that I was not expecting to see and I just overall like this design I remember liking it when I saw it at San Diego comic-con earlier this year but having this thing in hand I don't know man I'm pretty stoked about it anyway we do get some accessories so let's get a closer look at those and then we'll take a closer look at the figure so we get the build a figure piece and then we get the two sets of hands and her two vibranium weapons but they're green right over here and then she has has her uh, little suit bracelet which doesn't really count as an accessory but you know it comes off the wrist when you switch the hands right over here and this is kind of weird she has two weapon holding hands for the left side right there slightly different grips but yeah it's just a little bit weird I like the detailed blue paint though I do appreciate that and they both have vertical hinges right there and then yeah you only get a fist for just the right hand again good paint and then you have a weapon holding hand on this side and yeah these are kind of a little bit of a metallic green color uh, I don't know if this is accurate or not. I haven't seen the movie yet, but I'm going to watch it tonight. So, uh, yeah, I guess future me. Hey, make sure you put an annotation over there. <laughs> the figure comes with two head sculpts, and at this point in time, I have now seen Wakanda Forever, and I really did like it a lot. Now, there is an inaccuracy over here with this head sculpt, which I like, you know, that we have the Nakia underwater head sculpt, and it's the same face sculpt as the unhelmeted one, right? You can see it's the same but they just changed or uh, removed the hair. But she is supposed to have her hair underneath the helmet right over there. But I do like the sculpted details throughout on this helmet. It does look pretty good. You get a little more light on there so you can see that sculpted line work. Very detailed sculpted lines throughout on this and translucent plastic right there. They still got the lipstick and everything and nice photoreal tech underneath that. Ugh, all right, and then here we have the Lupita head sculpt without the helmet around it and she is beautiful. And she was beautiful in the movie and yeah, this figure looks like her. I think it's gorgeous. Really, really nice looking head sculpt over here. I do get a little weirded out by the teeth just kind of showing like that. It's always kind of a funny expression. But anyway, the hair looks really good. I like that. Reminds, uh, I think she had maybe a little more red in the hair, but still, uh, I think it looks fairly accurate to what I could remember off the top of my head. And I really like this suit. This is really awesome, man. I really love the metallic green throughout over here. The blues look pretty good too. I guess maybe they could have gone with a metallic blue also, but I still like the contrast throughout on the figure. I mean, there's a lot of metallic green on here. It shines very bright, so I really dig that. Nice, fine details on that belt. So I think they're getting better with the deco. Like, the applications of the deco just seem to be... I don't know, getting a lot better. They have some paint on the back, but then it falls short on, you know, on paint on the back right over here. The sculpt is pretty good, you know, not awful, but a lot of nice line work throughout over here. I, I do like it, but I wish we got a little bit more of this vibrant green on the back of the figure, you know? And then you can see a lot of sculpted detail right here, which would have been nice to see with a little bit more paint. It's kind of odd that, like, at the knees, like, you get this little blue part, but then no metallic green. So, would have been nice to get a little bit more of that right over here. But again, the sculpted details. The sculpted details! Uh, one gripe, though, is that I don't like how the wrist cuts off going into the hand right there. That doesn't look like a natural transition to me. So, luckily, yeah, you could use the beads to kind of cover that up a little bit. On this side, it doesn't look as bad for some reason. So, maybe just the way this hand was sculpted, I guess. I'm just going to say it for the record. They flattened this a bit uh, in the movie. It's not nearly that flat. I do prefer the hinge over the ball joint, but you can still get Nakia to look up just a little bit that much. And same deal with the helmeted head. It's not like it's the hair that's blocking it. It's that 
ball joint. As you can look down, you get side to side motion right there and the good head pivoting. And then you get shoulders that move outward and above the 90 degree mark right there by a little bit. And you can move them down, rotate a full 360. And then you get the bicep swivel. You get the beautiful pinless double jointed elbows that bend in all the way. Then all the hands turn side to side, hinge up and down. You get a really good diaphragm joint where you can turn side to side. Drop a lens and you can pivot right there and crunch forward just a tad. I wish we had better ab crunch and she can move back that much. Then we have hips that move outward that far and she can kick forward that much. Back the tiniest bit, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, and then the ankles move down. They do move up and she has beautiful ankle pivot. Now to measure out this Nakia figure, you can see that she is standing just a little over six inches tall. And for a Nakia comparison, you can see our Black Panther 1 movie figure and we have our Black Panther 2 movie figure right here. If you want to see this, this figure with the short hair you can do that i'm sure and there's your head swap for you yeah i like this head sculpt a whole lot more uh, i just think it looks a lot more accurate to the character I mean, this one's not bad either or anything but yeah uh, i like this one more then here's nakia next to the black panther one movie figure of leticia wright's black panther or we have shuri right here and i gotta say i'm not doing a full movie review right now but i think leticia wright crushed it i really really liked the movie a lot and i think she carried it then here's nakia next to the other figures from this wave that i've already reviewed we have the comic book black panther figure we have our wakanda forever namor and we have okoye from wakanda forever and then our black panther movie everett ross and by the way i didn't realize this until watching wakanda forever uh yeah lupita is multilingual as hell holy crap I, I did not realize jeez and then uh if you wanted to help me out check out that review of okoye and everett ross i did a two-in-one video yesterday and oh man did that get shit views i mean maybe it was the timing of when i posted or the simple fact that there's not that many people interested in the repeat characters and then here's nakia next to your average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time let down spider-man oh hey i'm all covered in green and single <laughs> you're all covered in green and single how about the two of us go out on a little <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell. And I gotta say, I really enjoyed this figure. Now, I'm not gonna get into spoilers, not spoiling anything, I think, but uh, there, there's not as many action sequences with Nakia in this movie compared to a lot of other characters from the movie. But I still really like this character a lot. And I really like this look a lot, especially for the character, having her own unique color scheme like this, and instead of having a figure of her in her temporary uh, Dora Milaje outfit, like I think having her own look like this is just really awesome, and I think it's a very cool look, and I, again, I really do like the character quite a bit, so I'm happy to have this figure, man. I think the execution of it was really good. I do have some gripes, though. You know, as I mentioned earlier, there are parts where, hey, that feels like it's missing paint. It's like you can just see the budget run out on the paint when you get, you know, below the knees. It's like, oh, what the hell happened there? It, it would have been nice to see the figure filled out more with a little bit more paint on it. So I've got to say that. And aside from that, I don't know. Oh, and I don't like the double ball joint hinge. I prefer the neck hinge. But aside from those complaints, at the price point of around 26 to 28 bucks, ooh, I'm going to give this Nakia figure a sun rating of... I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think. So please, let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to follow me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and whatnot. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.